Hello and welcome to Toot Orioles. I am Tam and today we have a very special After Effects tutorial presented by Matt from Matex Films. This tutorial also links in with a previous 3DS Max tutorial that Matt did. So let's hand over to Matt. You did spell destroyed right, didn't you? Yes I did. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, get out. You solved that Rubik's Cube. Alright. You're not solving it. Okay, today we're gonna be make we're gonna be making this planet, which is on fire. Yeah, look at look at it. Let's go for minimal fit. Yes, look at that. Look how fiery and awesome that is. Yeah, so. And you can also add a text layer. Like that. That has to be a PNG image, by the way. Otherwise it won't work. That's that's linked into the 3D tutorial I just did. Five minutes ago. So let's make a new project. Please ignore this comp size, because this is to do with the um, size of these textures. So here we have a cloud layer, which is like massive. Look at that. That's over 10k. A um, nice grungy texture, another grungy texture, and two absolutely massive earth textures. Look at that. Look, I'm going to zoom to 100%. That's 200. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Five, four thousand. What was that number I just said? Okay. Let's drag these, once we're done looking at them, into a new comp. <coughs> yeah. Now since these are so massive, I have to scale these down by up to 20%. Um, so now I'm going to just align them up to the sides of the um, comp. And then, so that's, if you want to move it quite a long way, you hold shift and arrow keys. And if you want to fine tune it, just use arrow keys. Um, check the middle bit of it. That is lined up perfectly. Beautiful. So now, we're going to pre-compose it. Uh, pre-compose. And then, earth texture. Beautiful. So now gonna make a new comp HD twenty four frames a second and then what are we gonna do now? We are going to create a new solid white and then effect transition no transition there it is linear wipe set the angle to zero and about forty ish around that and make it about a decent feather, like 300, 400. So it looks like that. Now you get your grungy textures, and then on the white solid, you choose Colorama, Input Phase Alpha, Output Cycle Ramp Gray, and Modify change into pixels. Always have that on, otherwise it won't work. And then set the transfer motor linear light. And you're done on this bit. So now we just pre-compose that and call it transition. Yes I can spell that. So now we drag the earth texture onto that and set it to Luma Matte and you can see it looks like it's being eaten up by something or not so let's just move that transition up so you can see it better now that's what it looks like you that's what it will do to the earth but we're not doing it to the earth we're going to be doing it to a lava texture let's find it I have many a pictures so here it is I just googled lava texture there you go scale it down Boom, look at that. And then, oh no, Luma inverted mat. Yeah. Look at that. It's all crack, cracked up and stuff. So now, <coughs> we go to that comp with the earth texture in it. Select it. And in the effects and presets panel, type in CC Sphere. Sphere. And drag that on. Let's increase the radius and turn off transparency. 
nice and big beautiful so now we have an earth I live right there um, so now we're going to get the lava texture comp drag that on top uh, change the size and drag the sphere onto that so now you've got oh look at that it's like half an earth on fire we need to change the scale of the radius to that number so 482 oh bit too big there okay don't scale it leave it at 100 there we go look at that oh but we got a line there so to get rid of that you do and yeah, 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 outside. Yeah, there you go. That's beautiful. So now, if you want to make it look even more awesomer, please don't listen to my language. Let's rename the comps. We shall add a glow to the fire comp. So, stylized glow. And then just play around until you get something that looks good. Don't do it like that. I'll just look awful. On, off. No, that's on. Um, let's just increase the radius, do all of that good stuff until it looks nice and gluey. To look like it's actually on fire. We're gonna just change the transition to about 40. And also, we're gonna color correct. Oops, color correct the grungy layers with brightness and contrast so they're all contrasted up so I just play around until it looks not like that but like that so it's either very awesome and then we're gonna do the same with the other one uh, forgot to do something here need to screen that oh and change the size of it and tint it as well to get rid of the colour let's affect colour correction tint just about to see that and then might move that on top and make that screened so now looks like that and then what are we going to do now we're going to swell that, that's too low. So we're going to increase that thing, the transition. Go right there, that looks good. So now, that's what it looks like with the glow. Intensify it, that looks good. So now, I'm going to solo that. and then sort out the lighting on it so we're gonna put the angle ooh, right down to what buttons are pressing there uh, minus 90? no yeah well let's just change the height first, ooh that looks glowy um, we're gonna set the glow radius smaller and the intensity smaller well, the radius bigger then. There you go, that looks beautiful. Uh, so now we do stuff such as sort out the lighting. So we're going to move the height and the direction until it's facing down. Probably minus 180. There you go. That looks very flammable gonna rotate it on the y axis yeah. yeah that looks boring 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 oh hello there's some fire oh oh that's that's flammable oh there's a line down it so get rid of that oh that's awesome oh there we go that's good so now looks like Africa's burning up no offense Africa just looks awesome.